perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. I imagine there's a lot more people looking for work nowadays. She pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. When you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. <sighs> Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. It's fine with me. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? Feels like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts haven't bothered leaving. I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? 
All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Ugh, oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis. No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? Now, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. Well, at least you're decomposing with family. You look well. I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Christina is Basswood's resident godmother. She loves her small talk. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring Basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right?
cost. Right, so the overhead would You seem be real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Just balancing the books. Uh, trying to. You still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well-balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> that... sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means, but it works in almost any situation. Just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. Sounds like the town's running through a pretty rough patch. Ah, things have just been a bit tough since the mine closed. But you know us, we always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day, but here we are. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Hannah kept coming in, but you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. Broke my heart. Well, sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. Hmm. Uh, say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh, yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm hmm. Not very inspired. Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. <laughs> Cowboy must have lost his keys. I need to? Different priorities, I guess. Christina, always bringing positivity.
Losing his legs seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. Man, he's a rock. Joe. Sam? <laughs> you old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. The boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but... I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Well, this is new. Domations. Now that's the basswood I remember. Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? I don't know. How many? Three. One to replace a light bulb, 
two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> that might be a little too close to home. My favorite jokes have always been the ones that make me feel a little sad. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused, and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spilled for what we have now. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing you're fond of that story, huh? A lot of respect for rednecks. Well, things were tough, but we were a united community back then. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Never forget, huh? Drowned six men. Basswood's mining started with an accident. Fitting. I don't know if I should bother her now. She probably won't be happy to see me. Yo, get out the way! You move. I'm the one coming in. Shh, fuck you. That's enough! <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her.
Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you? It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve, and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? You, he's basically a stranger. Look, have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Mm, was it? Miner's day always ends up exactly the same. Relaxing in its constancy. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not, after your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. I heard you're helping out with the celebration today. Naturally. It's the town's biggest homegrown tradition. <laughs> I've become quite a fan myself. I never got into it. No. A celebration of hard work and building something with your own two hands? Well, it's quite romantic. I'm from Florida myself, but it has that universal appeal. If it works for you, 
Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? What do you want from him? I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. I can't say I'm surprised. I'll think about it. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake. I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. She was sad before last night, but after she saw you... Heartbroken. You're supposed to be her godfather, but whatever you said to her... I didn't mean... If that's what happens when she's around you, maybe just stay out of her life. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter, and I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Busy. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, went off for a spell. Huh? Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. 
I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal. After I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Um... Heard you were asking about Dad last night. And <laughs> people got mad. That does tend to happen when I ask questions. People get pissed. Sorry I got pissed at you last night. I just... People keep talking down to me. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. And just... When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just. It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world, have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy.